12 days of gift mess, the final one, the 12th video, because it is Christmas Eve tonight. I'm going to take a shower after this, I'm going to get ready to visit my in-laws. Uh, it's a family tradition every year. Uh, my in-laws on Christmas Eve, my mom on Christmas Day, and Boxing Day is just me and Willem spending some time together. And we may be joined by a friend and that's about it so we're keeping it low-key uh, I ordered this as a Christmas present to myself Christmas bonus came in yesterday and I was like I've been wanting this for the longest time the vision vision of the muse Oracle um, I haven't I only opened the box to take off the plastic and then I look at the box though it's so pretty and then I looked at the guidebook this is a collage deck. I looked at the guidebook. There's not that much to it. It's a very straightforward deck. Um, copyright is 2017, but this is the updated version with more cards and the cardstock is matte. Now, I'm not much of a cardstock snob, but I do like me a matte cardstock. Inside of the box looks like this. So let's just like cut to the chase and get into the cards, I haven't even looked at them yet, and uh, I do really want to, so let's zoom in and get to it. All right, so this is the type of Oracle deck that I like. Give me a good image with lots of like cool things to look at, and then give me a good keyword. I love their handwriting, I even forgot their name, I'm such a twat. Uh, oops, I'm dropping boxes now, does it say on the box? Uh, Alejandra Leon. Uh, she also did the Lioness Oracle, which is a tarot deck, and then she also did the Stars Divided, whatever, the Stars Divine, which is an, is an astrology deck. I decided to go for the Oracle deck. Is my camera sender? Mm, no. Sorry guys, I'm a mess. I'm doing all of these kind of impromptu. So let's look at the cards. Abundance, love, love, love good keywords, love good vocabulary. So um, yeah, let's get into it. Uh, this card does show abundance. I really love the quality of her collage artwork. It's really good. The backs look gorgeous as well. So yeah, I'm gonna thoroughly enjoy this. I'm gonna try to see if I can kind of create a stand for the cards. Can I, without dropping everything? No, I can't. So this is gonna be one big shit show. Abundance, allow. Wow, there's a lot to this imagery. Like, oh man. Like um, the, the, uh, the gendered area is covered and then the head is this gigantic rose. Balance. Once again, great keywords. Bless. Clarity. I love good collage. I love actual collage. This is actual collage. This is literally her paper and scissors and glue. No computers, no nothing. Courage. Adore it. Create. Oh wow, this is literally the first time I've seen this version of this deck, and uh, I do really adore it. I, I love it, damn. Curiosity. Cycles. Depletion. Good, so we're getting kind of shadowy keywords, darker keywords as well which is really good. Dream. Embrace. I love all the roses, honestly, that's so good. Emerge. Expansion. Oh, oh man, oh. The synergy between these chosen images is so amazing, so good. 
Explore. This is a 60 card deck, by the way. That's so many good cards. Explore. Feeling, like the combina combination of, the, the, you know, like honestly, you could have cards with just these words on them, but the combination of the art and the cards really evokes evoke the sense of urgency and agency. And uh, I don't know why that is. There's a lot of movement in the cards, a lot of forward movement. <laughs> Fulfillment. Oh, these are peaches. Oh, wow. Gratitude. Oh, I love how you can kind of see that this was cut a bit more rough. Really like that. Harmony. Harvest. Healing. Humor. <laughs> I like this. I like that we have the cat with the sunglasses. We have the hummingbird sipping the nectar. And then we have these hands holding these cards. And I love that this is kind of a nod, in my opinion, to the seriousness of the divination community. We should be having more fun in our practices. We should be playing a bit more. Illumination, what needs to come to the light. Initiation, oh, I love her handwriting too. Oh man, I'm so jealous of people that have cool handwriting like that. Inspiration. Look at how majestic this cat looks. It almost looks like a panther, but it, it isn't. But it almost does. Intuition with the pyramid. Yes, love it. Joy. Knowledge. Ooh, wow. Listen, and then we have Mr. Bowie. I love that. I knew that there would be David Bowie cards in this deck. Really, really gorgeous. Love. I love the simplicity, the bluntness, the... This is art, guys. This is art. Magic. And you can totally kind of see, and I'm kind of uh, just guessing because I'm not that, like, attached to this creator. I uh, don't really follow them or anything, but you can kind of like see the Latin slash Spanish vibes. Um, like Santeria, Brujeria. This is such a personal creation and I adore it. Meditation was that card, but you guys already wrote, read that. So who cares? Movement. Muse, the vision of the muse. Adore it. This is the box cover art. Nurture. Passion. Patience. Pause. Perception. Is that Jim Morrison? Kind of looks like it. Wow. Pleasure. Realization. Receptivity. Reflection. Rejuvenate. Release. Ah, oh, gorgeous. Rest. Ritual, yes. Like, am I the only one getting kind of these Latin, Spanish, Roman Catholic vibes mixed with folk magic, uh, rawness, beauty, serenity, shadow. Yes, this must be one of my faves. Like, she really is a good artist. Shield, adore that. 
shine spell. Just get the candle, just the candle and a couple of roses. Really, really cool. Spirit, sweeten, transformation, truth, unknown, visualize, I think this is the last card, wisdom. Wow guys, this deck is really gorgeous, really usable, really workable, really intense. It's a 60 card deck. I think the older version only had 30 cards, correct me if I'm wrong. This is the newest version, the 2020 version. I adore it. I'm really glad that I have it in my collection because this is a tool that was meant for working, working with this. So that's the vision of the Muse. Uh, two other things I wanted to show you guys is um, these cute little unicorns that I got. So I got this one because I'm really into unicorns and I was kind of ashamed to get it, but I was just like, I'm gonna get it. So I got this cute little Pegasus unicorn and then I got its mommy or daddy too, which is this big ass, gorgeous, ornate Pegasus. These are not expensive. They're by a company named Schleich. Just look them up. They're really cool. I just wanted to show that really quickly. Okay. Now that was my last video for the 12 days of Christmas and 12 days of Giftsmas, and uh, goodbye.